You ever look like that? Um, after you went to a showing and your buyer is all excited and they want to put an offer in and then you decide at that point to contact a listing agent and like, hey, you know, I'm so and so, I'm going to like send an offer. And they're like, oh, we accepted an offer already uh, a few days ago or a couple of days ago. And now you gotta go take that information to your buyer. Uh, not a good feeling. Fourthly, that, that hasn't ever happened to me. And I'm trying to think, I guess if it could, if it did, it happened maybe once. But, um, but I know that's happened to a lot of agents, you know, cause a lot of agents told me that and, and asked like, how do you, how do you come back to, how do you avoid that? And, and this is what I do so that I never had that happen to me is if I, once I got a lot of, uh, addresses that I'm going to use, that I'm going to show, uh, my clients, I, I contact the agent first before I even set an appointment. I call them three times in a row, minimum three, not one time and leaving a voicemail or whatever and wait for them to call you back. Uh, not all agents are created equal for one, meaning not all are professional, not all are good at what they do, so forth, the lift goes on and on, and some may be busy. I call them three times in a row. I then leave a voicemail, and then I send them a text. You know, this is so-and-so with EXP. You're listing on so-and-so, I just say the street, I don't type the address, you're listing on Baker Street. Do you have any offers? And so, I'll get information from there. And then I turn around and I send an email the same thing. I'll just like, I'll, I'll, I'll have a standard email. Hello, this is so-and-so, you're, you're listing. And, and I'll copy and paste the address of, in the subject bar and put it in the subject bar of each email. And I'll just copy and paste the same email to multiple agents that are not responding to texts or have called me back. And so I'll ask the same question. I'll call them three times in a row. And the reason why you do three times in a row is because how many times your phone ring have rang and, and you know, you didn't get it and you, you know, maybe you don't feel like it or maybe it's across the room or you heard it. And, and then you may, by the time you got to it that, you know, it stopped ringing. But if you ring it a second time, you call them a second time. And the third time, what happens is the percentage of pickup goes up higher. And people tend to pick up when they see that someone's called them over and over again. They wonder like, maybe it's something important this time. Maybe I'll pick it up. Or they are in a meeting or something, or they just not answering and looking at you and they snooze you. And then you call again and they snooze you again. And then you're a third time and they'll just pick up, period. Now, if this gets time close to the time of like showing the property and that person still hasn't called me back or oh, when I really want somebody to answer the phone, I'll call them 10 times. I'll call it. First of all, be calling three times. I'll call that 10 X. I'm about to 10 X them. I 10 X everybody three times in a row. I don't care who they are. It could be a friend three times in a row. It's just my standard. It's a habit. And I call a full 10 X. So when I will call them like 10 times in a row to get a hold of somebody, you may think it's crazy, uh, but you know, I don't care. Every once in a while, do I get someone say, "Oh, why are you calling me so much?" You know, I'm like, "Well, hey, you know, I'm just persistent and thorough." And so, boom, I get to what I have to say. So that is what you want to do to avoid going to a showing. Everybody's all excited. You're excited. You're ready to put in an offer, and then you find out there's a uh, there's an offer accepted already. Get out of your comfort zone. Call them three times in a row three times in a row, leave a voicemail. Then turn around, send them a text message. Don't just text everybody and not call them because not everybody retexts. Not everybody is tech savvy as maybe you are. So you have to hit them multiple ways and not everybody's on their phone. They may be in front of the computer all day long and they don't really answer their phone or whatever and you know, and, and they, but they're in front of the computer, they get an email, they'll see it. Three times in a row, leave a voicemail. Send a text right away. Send them an email also, all the same time, one after another. Go to the next listing until you get your answer. Oh, no, we have no offers, or we got three offers, or blah, blah, blah. When are you going to make a decision? That's what, when are you going to make a decision? So, yeah, we got three offers in. When, when is your son going to make a decision? Uh, tomorrow. 
So now you know you need what time. So now you know when you, when you need to get in there. So that's how you eliminate that. It's gonna require you to get out of your comfort zone, cough you three times in a row. You're not, you're not, don't worry about if I'm disturbing the agent or whatever, like who cares? They're selling a property. They have a duty to client to get it moved and they, they need to be answering their phone or returning calls because they're supposed to be marking their property. So it is your duty to fight for your client, period. So that is what I do. And so I, I never, I've never had that problem that I could recall to where, you know, I went to the house and I'm all excited and they're all excited and, and, and the offer is already accepted already. And that's just a huge waste of time. So don't waste your time. So you all have a great Monday and um, talk to you later. Go get them.